boots on the ground, button down, get up, get up, up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling author Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much, my friends. The Scoop is for your education, your entertainment, your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a spe lighting specialist. Uh, this is not <laughs> stock advice. Uh, you know, contact your local uh, agent, broker, whatever you want to call them, a guru, and they will kind of, they will give you some stocks to pick and stuff. So education and entertainment only. And some of you have been taking the entertainment too far, making little jokes and stuff. But see, my stocks go up hundreds and hundreds and thousands of percent. So hey, you can take it as a joke now or you can take it as a joke later. I don't care. My friends, let's have some fun. Uh, it's been one of those weeks. We're at, uh, you know, the wars going on, uh, Russia and Ukraine. They're still nuts out there believing what Putin is saying. What did I tell you? This is war. Who tells the truth in war? Come on, guys. You think, you think, ugh, we're not going to talk about that. Let's let's go to what we want. We really want to talk about uh, what's going on in, in America. I'm in the desert southwest, guys, in America. So, uh, you know, we have, the, sometimes we have storms move through and we have good lighting and bad lighting and stuff. I'm sorry about this, this lighting. This is just, you know, let me try and do something about this. Hold on. I know you guys have given me a lot of suggestions on how to handle this stuff, but uh, uh, I'm hard-headed. I didn't listen. I'm just like today's youth, you know, and I'm under 21. You know, you don't listen to anything. That's old fashioned. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stock picks, man. We go, we're a group now. Everybody picks the same thing, you know? We're a group. Whatever. Uh, stock picking, that's a kind of a lost art, shall we say here. But, anyways, guys, my subscribers, of which I love, and there are, uh, you know, uh, hundreds and hundreds, uh, thousands of you that uh, I appreciate on a, uh, uh, every time I put one of these videos out, uh, you guys have uh, patience. Uh, but you know right now that there's a lot of pressure being put on these uh, supply chains out there right now, uh, whether it's uh, uranium or uh, uh, oil or, uh, you know, uh, uh, lithium or other great trade here or it, it, a lot of, lot of areas, like commodity areas, guys. Uh, the uh, Russians are uh, saying, you know, uh, well, we're going to... Uh, cut uranium off to America. America's saying, well, we're going to do it first. So, you know, and there's, we got bills and they got bills and everybody's uh, trying to cut uranium off. So sooner or later, somebody will uh, uh, do, do the right thing and, and get rid of this uh, blood money here in America. So we'll see what's going on there, my friends. Uh, prices are, are rising. Things are happening uh, right now. You know, uh, uranium... Uh, we're, we're closing in on that $60 a pound uh, right on the doorstep. Um, my friends, oh, though, uh, uh, do you, you guys recall when uh, uh, President Trump invoked the uh, Defense Production Act, you know, and he had those manufacturers all manufacture those masks and gloves and all that stuff? Well, uh, about, I'd say about five or six days before uh, he said, you know, we're going to do it. He got pressure from now President Biden. So President Biden, uh, about five or six days ago, we got caught wind of the, they were drafting up an order to invoke the uh, uh, Defense uh, Production Act, right, due to, you know, energy storage, battery metals, the green energy emergency. So we'll see, we're five days or so, we'll see, you know, if those people on the other side, side start barking uh, the way uh, he was with Trump, and, and rightfully so, because Trump was lost. He, oh, you know, I didn't want to get anybody, I didn't want to make anybody uh, panic or anything like that. Well, we, we don't need to panic. All you need to go out is get gas. And you, you're not going to panic. You're just going to look up there, and it's just going to be very, very expensive. So uh, that's uh, what's going on there. Uh, reduce fossil fuels and uh, the demand for fuel costs 
uh, uh, should go uh, down if uh, they uh, do some of this stuff. Some of these mines and stuff, uh, some of the regulations in the mines are not going to change. But the, uh, remember, guys, this was about maybe about a year ago. I told you that they're gonna, there's going to be some lightening up on some of these regulations if you know if anything came up and and things come up like uh, this. Uh, you know, that disease came up. It, it wasn't anything anybody planned for. It came up. And uh, that just happened. Things happened. Things happened. But uh, uh, right now, my friends, our sectors, we're staying the course. We're holding on to our uranium stocks right now. Nothing's happening, my friends. Right now, our baby knockouts in lithium. Invest in uh, lithium baby knockouts now. This, this little book right here has 15 lithium baby knockouts in it right now, a couple of which have done very, very well, guys. I'm going to tell you something. If anybody tells you that, you know, electric vehicles are going away or it's a fad or something, uh, they better think again. Or if they tell you, well, I'm not going to get in that trade because I'm late or I'm not going to get in it because I'm early, uh, they better think again, guys, because... We have stocks, our baby knockouts. And what are baby knockouts? Your first time listening to this baby knockout goat, right? Hey, baby knockouts are stocks that, small micro cap stocks that we usually, our research indicates that they can dominate that area, guys. Sure, they may be a quarter right now. Or they may be 28 uh, cents. They may be 30 cents. They may be 35 cents. I can tell you right now. All of the uranium stocks that we follow right now, all except for one, except for one that we follow that I mentioned on this show. And you can look at all the videos you want to listen to back to 2017 when we started buying these things and talking about these things. I told you I bought UUUU Energy Fuels 37 times from 2017 to 2020. So, guys. We started super early and we've been sitting on this stuff and we've been patient with these stocks. They were all baby knockouts, 25, 30 cents, 40 cents at one time when we were buying these stocks, all except for uh, Cameco up in, uh, up in uh, uh, Canada. They were all baby knockouts. So that's what that's our premise. These stocks, like right? you see these stocks right now that, that are blowing up. These stocks, we started getting these stocks early at a quarter. That's what we do, guys. Dating back to America Online uh, when it was uh, the dot coms, you know, at a quarter. I take it back to Microsoft with some of my uh, friends and their families when good old Softy was a quarter, you know, back in the day, guys. This is this. Why do you want to buy a stock? at a hundred dollars when you can buy it at a quarter, you know, or 50 cents or something when you see this trend happening. And right now, lithium, these, the, the storage, these bat, these thousand pound batteries need uh, lithium and there's not enough lithium out there. There's a supply uh, a deficit in lithium, just like there's a supply deficit in uranium right now. So if you don't do it for yourself, Definitely do it for your kids or do it for somebody uh, because that's uh, uh, this is a this is a no brainer. Just like I told you, when when uranium, when our stocks were when Paladin was four cents and three cents and stuff. But I said, you guys back the truck up, man. And you use baby knockout principles. I told you all you had to do, guys, was we only asked you to do one thing, and that's sacrifice a dinner or a night out with your family. We're talking about a family of four or so. We're talking about, you know, a nice restaurant or something. We're only talking, we're talking roughly around from two to $500 or whatever, wherever you are in your, it could be $150. It could be a movie night and a dinner night and what have you for a family of four. That's the only sacrifice that we ask you guys to make with these baby knockouts. If you decide to speculate uh, with some of these, like we have our African uranium super trade, all of those stocks, all nine stocks were under like 40 cents or so when we first started this global atomic.
guys, is over like $3 and something USD right now. That's leading the pack. But a whole lot of other ones were pennies and pennies and pennies, guys. That's just what's going on right now with our lithium baby knockouts, guys. Lithium baby knockouts. You're going to hear a lot more about the, the lithium triangle down in, in uh, Argentina. You're going to hear a lot more about uh, Clayton Valley, where I am, right here in the, the right here in Nevada. Uh, you know, you're going to hear a lot about these companies, and right now these companies are just getting started. I have a list of I can't even get to the company companies that have gone over just over a dollar already. That I, you know, that, hey, you, you just don't. They're in the book. Some of them are in the book. These are a quarter companies, thirty cent. Co These are late bloomers, guys. That that get started late, like Denison Mines. You know, when it was a quarter, I took as the last two uranium bull markets. Denison Mines has treated me well. It went up to thirteen dollars from these low levels, and and I sold it there. You know, it went up higher, of course. I don't buy, I don't sell at the tops, and I don't buy at the bottoms. I'm not that good, guys. You know, some of you may. No, I'm not that one, man. We get a chunk. We get our the big, nice little chunk in the middle, you know, and it tastes so good, you know, and uh, that's that's the way we go. And e even when, and I told you guys, even when um, our when Bitcoin went up and our crypto stocks, you know, got to invest in, you know, we didn't have a wallet or anything. Mickey D, right on uh, Amazon.com, you can get the book, right in the book, guys. We had, you know, we we had those stocks. Those stocks are very very low. You know, stocks like Riot Blockchain under a dollar. You know, the thing went up to like eighty dollars, guys. You know, I'm not making this stuff up. These, it, you see, that's why I have to put it in the books. I put it in the books. A year and a half, two years from now, everybody's gonna say, "Hey, do you have any more of those lithium stocks under under a quarter?" You know, when they're three and four dollars. I know, I know, people are because they're saying it now with uranium. When I told you, uh, UEC would not be a quarter or, you know, 30 cents, 40 cents for long. Yeah, I had to hold on to it for a long time. But, hey, who's in who's in the driver's seat now? Scoop subscribers are in the driver's seat right now, guys. But I've been a little, little long-winded there. No, no, let's segue, segue here, guys, from Australian lithium and Canadian lithium and those baby knockouts that we looked at. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Lake Resources. Lake Resources uh, just signed a deal with a Japanese company or something, an off-take agreement. They're going to have many, many more. That that stock is so underpriced right now, even at $1.50 USD or something. It's way underpriced. It's one of the baby knockouts. It's one of our top five baby knockouts. It was on the list. If you look at your newsletter, it's one of the ones that was on there. So was uh, Patriot Battery Metal. Uh, Patriot Battery Metals. That one up in Canada. So Patriot is good to go uh, also, guys. That that's uh, It's just a matter of, of time uh, when that one will explode. And, and we, we uh, really are looking forward to uh, that one doing its thing here. Uh, a quick comment, too, on a Deep Yellow and uh, uh, Vimy uh, resource down in uh, uh, Australia. Uh, you know John Borshoff, CEO of Deep Yellow. He's wanted this company for a long time. Well, it looks like now, uh, the next 24, 48 hours or so, this deal uh, will be complete. We'll, the devil's in the details, so we'll see how the deal uh, pans out there. Uh, uh, we believe that our African Uranium Super Trade member, Deep Yellow, uh, will do very, very well. Um, we were in, like I said, super, super early. Now they're picking up. Uh, prop, you know, <clears throat> sometimes it takes a little while for companies that that mush together and become a, a big healthy company. I'm convinced that that he's got a team. You know I'm saying he. I'm talking about uh, John Borsch. He's got a team that can make this thing uh, happen. Good, good manager. He's been around for a long time. OG in this game, guys. Uh, he took uh, Paladin from a penny to ten dollars or so. Uh, last uh, uranium uh, bull, last uranium, big bull market. Uh oh, time getting time. There's a. I mentioned it. This has been talking too long. He ain't said nothing. I'm gonna show you the uh, charts here in a second. Let's let's take a look, guys, uh, because it's gonna be a little longer video because uh, uh, because I like making videos and I haven't seen you in a couple days and I like you.
And if you listen to my video, obviously you might like what I'm about to show you right now. Right now, let's take a look at these. Uh, uh, let's take a look at some of these charts and see exactly uh, where we stand. Now, remember, as we look at the 200-day moving averages, guys, this is a lagging indicator. As you know, we do technical analysis. We also do fundamental analysis. We talk to all these these companies. We go to these conferences. I'm your eyes and ears. We're trying to find out what's going on. But like during the dot com, sometimes you got to go knock on the door. And you got to find out what is going on with these companies, guys. So that is uh, where we're coming from when it comes to that. We got to we 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 look we look at the charts, but remember the charts can't tell you that the CEO has applications in for four other companies. You know they they can't tell you what the secretary told me on the nobody's been paid. We haven't been paid in a week, and the stock chart the stocks just keep going up 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 up. You know parabolic. And no one is even being paid at the company. So they don't tell you everything, but I like to mix a little bit of that in there. So everybody can say Mickey D showed us this and he did that and everything. Especially when I come out with this baby knockout trading course that I'm going to come out with, guys. And then you'll you'll see that you'll, you'll see exactly how to pick these baby knockouts. And, and I'm not trying to make you rich. I'm not trying to make you rich. If you want to be rich, you raise your hit, hit that red button. Stop right now. I want you to be comfortable. See, that that's the comfort. I've been trading stocks for a long, long time, you know, and comfortable right now, you know, just, you know, doing a little bit right now. I, I had a, a, a conversation uh, with a, a Wall Street friend of mine yesterday. He set me straight because I was getting bored. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm cheap myself. I'm, uh, I, you know, I, he, he set me straight. I was telling this is the situation. I was telling him, you know, I'm saying, man, I'm getting five, six hundred dollars, man, thirty cents, twenty cents on these covered calls, man, on 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 energy fuels, man. I, I got some. Man, this stock ain't going nowhere. I know this stock like the back of my hand, man. I've owned it for years and years and years, and I know. You know what? I talked to to my Wall Street friend. I talked to Super Trader, and and somehow. Two of the best minds in this business came with the same, Mickey D, just take what they give you. It's, it's Sometimes it's real, real boring. Sometimes you just don't want to do it. Just, just take what they give you. So that was my lesson from yesterday. That was my personal mental lesson to myself. Just, just take what they give you. You know, if they're going to give me 20 cents or 25 cents, I'm going to take it. I don't have to have a dollar every time. I don't have to have a dollar fifty, two dollars, six dollars, on every covered call. Give, they give me twenty five cents. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking it every time. No, leave no, no prisoners. I'm gonna start taking it. But anyway, let me show you these charts, guys. Let's turn it around. Let's do our thing. All right, let's take a look at a couple uh, charts here. Uh, let's start with Q's. Uh, the Q's, QQQ. Uh, technology is. Uh, just a step above, just a smidge, just a little bit above is 200-day moving average. Why do we use 200-day moving average? It's just a barometer for us, guys. Uh, it was well below is 200, and, and the Qs are coming back. The Spiders, SPY, uh, SP500 is above its 200-day moving average. Just uh, a little bit here, the last uh, four or five days or so, it's done uh, fairly well. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Cameco, big giant out there in uh, uh, uranium. Uh, it's above its 200-day moving average and uh, doing uh, quite well. Uh, the tendency is to go up. It's got a little little setback here. It's uh, all been backing and feeling, but we think that uh, once they uh, go ahead and ban and do what they're going to do and take Castatumprom out of the equation, then uh, things will be uh, okay. Guys, I... I I'm I have to apologize also because after these videos I put the name of the companies up there and I put the the lettering and everything and uh, I was just told by uh, uh, Mark the other day that hey yeah I haven't seen anything man and I've been doing that for for years and it's like uh, some hit it and some don't so let me know if you can see any of any of the subheadings that I put on these things because the show starts off welcome. To the scoop with Mickey D. You should be able to see that right across the beginning. 
and you can't see that. So I, I'm really sorry. So I'm going to have to get these uh, things. I'm going to have to start using candlesticks because you guys know I'm old school. I like using my lines, right? But the lines don't show up as well as the candlesticks do. Um, when you, you know, the, on the computers and all, you know the deal, guys. Let's check out Energy Fuels here. You, 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 you. Um, it uh, is over its 200-day moving average. It's uh, backing and filling. Uh, we anticipate uh, the scoop when we first looked at this company under a dollar. We thought that it would do very, very well, and we've been holding it uh, every since, uh, guys. Uh, Patriot Battery Metals. One of our lithium baby knockouts in the book. Uh, very, very uh, good uh, company here. Uh, it is, is we said, let it, let it come on back home a little bit. Uh, it hasn't come back home as far as we want it to come under a dollar. Uh, USD right now, this is the uh, Canadian uh, and uh, Patriot Battle Mills is a Canadian company. So we have it uh, in its Canadian uh, dollar here. It, dollar uh, thirty-two. It closed uh, today. It's on its way. You see, it's been uh, it's been really uh, breaking out, guys. Uh, Lake Resources uh, Australia. Go with this Australian signal uh, symbol. Uh, it's a dollar ninety-eight fifty. It closed uh, in Australian dollars. Uh, you can see it's really gone hog wild here. Uh, they have a new offtake agreement with uh, a Japanese company. I got to read the details, find out what's going on there. But I anticipate a lot more. Uh, do I anticipate a Tesla agreement? Uh, maybe sooner or later. You never know. Tesla's not the only game in town. And these Australian companies have been, uh, you know, somewhat, uh, uh, what would you say, uh, colluded with Chinese companies or Chinese companies are colluding with them or whatever you want to, however you want to say it. Uh, the same thing that's happening with our uranium companies in Africa is happening with our lithium companies, our lithium baby knockouts in Australia. Uh, they're uh, in Argentina also. Uh, they're, they're Chinese are really down there making some noise. Uh, they want that lithium. They're getting that lithium. They're throwing money around like it's candy. And uh, the other countries are just looking at them while they're doing it. Well, sooner or later, they should probably join them because then you have companies like uh, Lake Resources that uh, has like four properties that, that they uh, are going to be uh, uh, going to have uh, offtake agreements with all these other companies and stuff. They're going to be a big, big winner, guys, uh, out there right now. It's, a, it's a, one of the bigger uh, companies there. We're talking uh, uh, $2.5 billion. Uh, dollar company. It is a, a huge company. Uh, I I was. Can, can you guys see this? How, uh, it's here's how much one thousand dollars invested in American battery uh, technologies five years ago would be worth today. Now uh, there they have five year. Uh, it was at uh, thirty seven point nine on the uh, average annual basis here. $1,000, bottom line is $1,000 in uh, American battery technology would be today $8,176, uh, my friends, based on a price of $139. Now, this is a stock that I own. This is one of my uh, uh, stocks in my lithium portfolio there. Uh, I believe this car thing is going to be a this EV thing is a big thing. Uh, this energy, this uh, uh, space, it's a big, big space, guys. And it, it, let's look forward to uh, getting some of those baby knockouts in uh, lithium. And let's uh, make this thing happen because that's just one right there, American Battery Metals. And we have a we have a lot of uh, stocks, guys, that we're looking at. And uh, I'll be giving a another list. To those members that are uh, in, uh, that are up to date with their my private students, I'll be getting that stuff to you here uh, shortly, guys, because these things are moving uh, so fast. Uh, like I said, uh, uranium chemicals doing its thing. Everybody's doing their thing, my friends. It's it's really uh, great. I'll leave some uh, links for you once again. I'm sorry if this thing comes off kind of wild, but uh, anyway. Uh, let's have a great, great rest of the trading week. Uh, sooner or later, we'll have a breakthrough uh, with uh, uranium. 
And in the U.S., you know, we're not going to, the U.S. is not a, a blood money country. Uh, well, uh, I think I said that wrong. Uh, the U.S. is not a country that uh, would let stand around and let uh, and give Putin money to do what he's doing right now. And, and uh, those people over there are, you know, shooting and, and the killing and, you know, at night and a bomb hitting your... Uh, I mean, the guy hit the Red Cross, man. I mean, you know what? I mean, what, what else can he hit? I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, uh, it's wild. Uh, good evening, good uh, good night to you. You have a good uh, good week, my friends. Have a good day tomorrow. Um, I'm 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 doing well. I'm just it's just one of those wild days, you know. You, you ever had one of those days, you know, where your your son says this, your daughter says that, your wife says this. You know, then your mom and dad and then your uncle say something different. I mean, and, you know, everybody's coming at you. It's been one of those days today. But it's all good, my friends. And in all things, we give thanks to the one upstairs. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family.